Today you're going to learn how to make a smooth zoom transition with motion blur in Adobe Premiere Pro. This effect is super easy and can be done in a matter of seconds. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. Cineguac. As you can see, I have two video clips in my project bin. So let's start by dragging each one onto the timeline. Make sure they're touching each other on the timeline. If there is any amount of space between them, this effect will not work. If we play that back, you'll see we now have a hard cut between the two clips. So here's how we add a smooth zoom transition. Go to your project bin and click on this new item button. Go ahead and select adjustment layer. Your video settings should match the aspect ratio of your video clips by default, so we can just go ahead and hit OK. Next, you want to click and drag the adjustment layer from your project bin right onto your timeline. Make sure you drag it on the layer above your video clips, and make sure the center of the adjustment layer is lined up roughly with the cut point. So let's just move the playhead directly onto the cut point. We can zoom in just to take a closer look at what we're doing. Looks like we're a few frames off, so let's move the playhead over a bit so it's aligned on the cut point exactly. Once you've done that, head over to your project window and go to Effects, and then search for an effect called Transform. Click and drag the Transform effect directly onto your adjustment layer. With your adjustment layer selected, and your playhead still aligned with the cut point between your two clips, move on up to Effect Controls, and scroll down so that we can see all of our Transform effect settings. Let's change the Scale to 200, and then press this Toggle Animation button. That will create a keyframe right on the cut point. Next, you're going to press the left arrow on your keyboard five times. This will move the playhead backwards by five frames. Once you've done that, hit the Reset Parameter button. This will automatically create a new keyframe, resetting the scale back to 100. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Make sure you align the playhead precisely on the first keyframe we created. Now, you're going to press the right arrow on your keyboard five times. This will move the playhead forward by five frames. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit the Reset Parameter button again. This will create another keyframe, resetting the scale back to 100. To make the zoom a bit smoother, we can right-click our first keyframe and select Ease Out. Then, we can right-click our last keyframe and select Ease In. Lastly, to add some motion blur to the zoom, let's uncheck this option where it says Use Composition's Shutter Angle, and then change the shutter angle to 360. Play that all back, and you'll see we now have a beautiful cross-zoom transition with motion blur. You can adjust the speed of the zoom by simply shortening or lengthening the distance between the first and last keyframes. The farther the keyframes are apart from one another, the slower the zoom will be. The closer they are together, the faster it will be. We can clean this up a bit by aligning our playhead with our last keyframe, and then pulling this in until it snaps into place. And then aligning our playhead with the first keyframe, and pulling the other side until it snaps into place. Now the duration of the adjustment layer is the same exact length as the keyframes. This isn't entirely necessary, it just makes things a lot less cluttered if you're OCD like me. It also makes it a lot easier to replicate this effect you've already made by simply just copying and pasting the adjustment layer anywhere on the timeline. That way you don't have to create this effect twice, you can just paste it on top of any other video clips. And now for a surprise. If you don't want to work with adjustment layers because you hate them, or you just want to learn a different way to do the exact same thing, here's an alternative. Drag your video clips onto the timeline exactly like before. Make sure they're kissing. Now this time, instead of creating the adjustment layer, drag the transform effect directly onto both clips. Zoom in, align your playhead on the very last frame of your first clip. You can zoom in for maximum precision. Once you're aligned to the last frame of your first clip, go to Effect Controls, scroll down to Transform, and change the scale to 200. Set a keyframe, just like before, by hitting this button. Tap the left arrow five times, and then hit Reset Parameter. 
zoom in so you can see your keyframes more clearly, and then right-click the first keyframe and select Ease Out. Uncheck Use Composition's Shutter Angle and change your shutter angle to 360. Now move your playhead to the very first frame of your second clip. Scroll down to your Transform Settings, set the scale to 200, and hit the Toggle Animation button. Hit the right arrow on your keyboard five times, and then hit Reset Parameter. Zoom into your keyframes, and select your second keyframe, and hit Ease In. Uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle, and change your shutter angle to 360. Play that all back, and you'll see you have the exact same effect, only without the use of adjustment layers. Now, if you don't really feel like taking the time to make this effect yourself in Premiere, you can click the link in my description and go to AE Juice to purchase their Seamless Transitions Pack, which includes various types of cross zooms and tons of other transitions. This would also make me happy because I get a commission on every purchase, which supports my channel and allows me to keep making free tutorials for you. So definitely use my link if you decide to purchase. I actually made a tutorial on how to download and apply these transitions. You can find that link in the description as well. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a long time to put together, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will definitely see you next time.